Hello and welcome to India's biggest quiz on sports and fitness, the Fit India Quiz. Today, we are in Goa. Goa is also known for its vast mountain range and a treasure house of biodiversity that makes Goa one of the ever sprightly states of India. Football, parasailing and kayaking are some of the famous sports of Goa. Goa has produced many renowned sports persons such as Bruno Coutinho, Ramanan Sankhwalkar and many more. Today, four school teams of Goa will be competing against each other in the Fit India Quiz. So without further ado, let's start the exciting round of the quiz. Namaskar and welcome once again to the second semi-final of Goa in this program, the Fit India Quiz. With a total cash prize of over 3 crore rupees, this amazing competition is brought to you by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports and is supported by the Ministry of Education. In its second edition, the Fit India Quiz has seen participation from almost uh, 62,000 students from across the country. These students came from 700 plus districts and there were a total of 16,702 schools that registered for the competition. Uh, this today is the second semi-final for the state of Goa. Let's meet our teams in today's quiz. Hi sir, my name is Krishta Faldesai and I'm studying in 11th standard now. Well, the one thing that inspires me most about football is like how it keeps me healthy and fit and physically running. Hi sir, my name is Vela Fernandes. I'm studying in Standard 11 and I like football since it uh, increases the stamina. Hello sir, my name is Tanvesh Gaudi and I like to play chess as it gives me uh, a fun feeling, an uh, enjoyment feeling. I like to really, I really like, really like to play chess and I enjoy it playing. Hello sir, my name is Elvan Gama. Uh, I mostly like um, many sports but most of uh, them are mostly outdoor sports. So I like football, uh, badminton and all. Uh, it, it just uh, makes me happy. My name is Rian Fernandez. I'm studying in class 6th. My favorite game is badminton. My name is Siona Matthew and I'm studying in standard 10. And we are from Kocharan and my favorite sport is, I like everything but the main sport I play is athletics and also football. Hello sir, my name is Swaraj Prabhu Desai. Currently I am studying in standard 10 and I play karate because it gives me confidence and you know a self boost. Hello sir, I am Khushi Thakibal from 9th standard. I like judo and karate as it is it helps girls for self defense and I also like to play badminton. Thank you very much for your introductions teams. Let's head into our first round which we call get. In a little more detail children we will be asking you four questions. Each of the questions will be an anagram. We will tell you whether it spells out the name of a personality or a term from sports or even a famous venue. You have to buzz to answer. The first team that hits the buzzer will get to answer if your answer is correct, which means you managed to place the letters in the right order. You get a total of 100 points. If your answer is wrong, it's not a tragedy. You don't lose anything, you just don't get any points. All right, all clear. St. Anne's, where are you looking, child? Rajita? St. Anne's, who are you talking to, child? Sir, the English later, I was asking something about the buzzer. Uh, if you have to ask something about the buzzer or anything, please ask us. Okay, sir. Okay, the invigilator's job is to make sure that there is no hanky panky. There is no unfair means used in the quiz. Invigilator does not know the technical details that go into the making of the program. Okay. So any doubt, any query, I'm going to place it before you now. Do you want anything explained? Any clarification? Anyone? So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a, in the circle, it is written ready. So it, uh, uh, if you want to answer them, you have to click on it, right? Or we have to click again to make it green and all. No, so when I give you the signal, 
I will tell you after whenever I ask the question, then I will say your buzzers are ready now or are enabled now or you can go for your buzzer now. The key word is now. Once I say that, then all four teams can try to press the buzzer or press their buzzers. And then the first team to press it will be recorded. All right. If you press before I give you the signal, then it will not record your response. Clear? And then after you press the buzzer, just wait to be recognized. I will identify the team that has pressed the buzzer. Because it's happened in the past, teams have jumped the gun, thought they pressed the buzzer first, gave the right answer and some other team got picked up the points. Okay. So they got the 100 points, whereas the team that gave the correct answer out of turn didn't get anything. So just be careful on that. Okay, sir. Let's go. Three, two, one. And now that the rules and regulations are explained, let's head straight into question number one for our round number one. Coming up on your screens, here it is. Name this famous cricket team. It's an Australian uh, limited overs T20 team. The letters are D Y N E S Y. First name. Second part of it is R E X I S S. Your time to buzz starts now. And the first team in with the buzzer is Team B, Vidya Vihar. Unmute yourself, boys, and uh, tell us your answer. So the answer is Sydney Sixers. Sydney Sixers, you say. Let's check with our system and tell you whether you get 100 points or not. Tanvesh seems quite confident and he has every right to be because Sydney Sixers gets Vidya Vihar off and running with the first question answered correctly. 100 points in your kitty and we head to question number two. Identify this famous Kabaddi team from India, of course. The letters are first word R U B L E N U G A. And the second word is S L U B L. Got the letters? Your time to buzz starts now. And once again, it's the boys from Vidya Vihar with the fastest fingers in. What is your answer, boys? The answer is Bengaluru Bulls. Bengaluru Bulls. You follow Kabaddi, uh, Vidya Vihar, Tanvesh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So then I don't think there is much denying it. Once again, the confidence of knowing that he is right showing through. But we will officially declare whether your answer is right or not. Here is the answer reveal coming up on screen. Bengaluru Bulls, 100 full points once again. Well done, boys. Two down, two to go. Here comes question number three. Name this famous NBA team, National Basketball Association, NBA team. The letters are S-H-I-P-E-M-M. -M. First word, second word, Z I L G I R S Z E. Those are your two sets of letters to form two words. Your buzzers are live now. Third time, once again, are you going for a hat trick? Vidya Vihar High School, unmute yourselves because you're the first team with the buzzer. Your answer, please. The answer is. Uh... Uh, you got two right. Let's see if you got a hat trick of correct answers. Do you move up to 300 points? Answer reveal, please. No, I'm afraid this time you're not correct. The correct answer is the Memphis Grizzlies. No problems. Three down. One more question to go. Will it be Vidya Vihar again or will one of the other teams pick it up? Here is question number four. Name this famous Kabaddi team. Once again, we are back to Pro Kabaddi League. The letters are B L A N G E. First word R A W O R R I S. Second word. Your buzzers go live now. One, two, three, four. Pick up the 
buzzer and knock at the door. It doesn't make any sense, but it doesn't need to because the team that has pressed the buzzer first for the fourth time in a row is Vidya Vihar High School. What's your answer, boys? The answer is Bengal Warriors. Bengal Warriors. And he just calmly says the answer when he knows it. And he knows when he's right. He didn't know when he was wrong, but he, but he was just as calm and confident at that time also. Correct answer reveal. Here it comes on your screens. Bengal Warriors gets you a third correct answer, Vidya Vihar. Fantastic going. Three out of four answers given correctly. And that means we take a look at the points table at the end of the first round. Our Lady of Perpetual Sucker Convent High School, Shishu Vikas High School and St. Anne's Institute all yet to get off the mark, leading at the end of our first round with a substantial margin, 300 points to them, Vidya Vihar High School. Well done boys, but remember, as it was said in a famous film, picture abhi baki hai mere dost. You still have a long way to go. The race is not yet fully run. Teams, you have a lot of time to catch up with the team that is in the lead. Wishing you all the very best for the next two rounds. We end our first round here and go into our second round. Before we head into our second round, remember that fitness is a lifestyle and helps you in leading a healthy and fulfilled life. Let's take a look at this video and try and understand a little more about how to stay fit. Welcome back and let's go into our second round which we call SET. In our second round, we will be showing every team a set of six themes or subjects. Every team will choose a subject on which they want to be quizzed. We will show them a question. They will give us an answer. If the answer is correct, they get 100 points. Otherwise, if they don't know the answer, they have two helplines available. The first helpline is options. We will give them three options, one of which will be the correct answer and will make it easier for them to answer the question correctly. The second helpline is swap the question. If they opt for it, we will change the question and give them another question from the same field. In either case, if they use a helpline and get the answer right, they get 50 points. If you give a wrong answer with or without the use of a helpline, you get no points. There are no negatives. No one loses. All right. So if you're all ready, teams, let's begin with Team A, St. Anne's Institute. The six themes or six subjects available to you, Team A, are cricket, fitness, health and nutrition, football, indoor and traditional sports, mixed bag and multi-sport events. Do you need any clarity, any query on any of the themes or subjects? If you have a doubt about any of them, we can clear those. Some of them, of course, are very easy to understand. So we would like to choose fitness, health and nutrition. Okay, please mark fitness, health and nutrition as their subject of choice. And let's give them a question. Workouts can be hit or lit. In both cases, what does the I stand for? Physical exercise routines, they are called workouts. They can either be hit, H-I-T, or lit, L-I-T. In both cases, I stands for something. What does I stand for? Immune. Immune is your yes. answer. You had two helplines available. You could have chosen either one of them, but you were quite confident that immune is the correct answer. Let's 
tell you whether you're right or not. St. Anne's, I'm afraid that is not the correct answer. It is impact. So it can be high impact training or low impact training, depending on how strenuous the workout is. Vidya Vihar High School, you guys are up next. We have your subject choices up for you on screen. What would you like to choose? So we choose cricket. Cricket. Cricket is the subject of choice for Vidya Vihar. Let's have it. The question coming up for you. Which former test captain of Pakistan started a political party named Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf? That is your question for 100 points. Which former test captain of Pakistan started a political party named Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf or PTI? Once again, the team is not going for the helpline. Tanvesh is that supremely confident self of his, aided by the ever smiling Alvin, who bursts into a big grin now and then. Uh, let's show you whether you're right or not. 100 points if you're right, and 100 points it is. This is your fourth century. Boys, how does it feel to be on 400 not out? Really nice. Really nice. And yeah. he's still as calm and unflappable as ever. Well done, boys. Fantastic going. Two down, two to go. Let's go to Perpetual Sucker Team C. Your subjects coming up on screen. Team C, what do you choose? Fitness, health, and nutrition. Fitness, health, and nutrition for Team C as well. Question coming up. In the term BMR used in fitness programs, what does the letter B stand for? When you have a fitness program or a routine that is created for you, there is a term called BMR, which is used. It's one of the parameters. What does the letter B stand for? At any time, if you want, you can use a helpline. You can go for options. That makes it easier sometimes. So we would like to take helpline. Okay, you want a helpline. Which one? You want options or do you want to swap the question? Options. Three options coming up. One of them is the correct answer. Hey, Perpetual Sucker, we are giving you the, the answer on your screen. All you have to do is to read it off. Your options are A, balloon, B, basal, 3 or C, body. Balloon, basal, body. Which of them is the correct answer? Option C, body. Option C, body you say. Let's take a look at the final answer and tell you whether you're right or not. No, I'm afraid that is not correct. Basal is the correct answer. It stands for basal metabolic rate. No points, I'm afraid, for Team C. And we're moving on to Shishu Vikas High School, Team D. Team D, we've got six themes coming up for you. Here are your six themes. What do you want? So we would like to take fitness, health and nutrition. Fitness, health and nutrition. A third team going for that subject. I'm amazed that a state that is as crazy about football as Goa is, is not taking football. None of the teams going for it. Interesting there. Okay, here's your question coming up. Hyponatremia, also sometimes spelled hyponatremia without the A, may occur during long endurance events and when environmental temperature is elevated. What does it mean? What is hyponatremia? What does that term hyponatremia mean? That is your question. So you would like to take a lifeline? You want a helpline? Which one? Do you want options or do you want to swap the question? Options. Options for the team. Let's have three 
alternatives for them. Your three options are A, high alkalinity of blood, B, low calcium level, or C, low salt level. Team D, you've seen your three options. What is the correct answer according to you? So option A. Option A, high alkalinity of blood. Let's lock that answer down and tell them whether they are right or not. Incorrect, I'm afraid. It means low salt level. Low salt level is the answer there. That brings us to an, the end of our second round. Let's take a look at the scores. Scores are much the same for three teams. None of them having moved off the ground level, but Vidya Vihar High School, in fact, has increased their lead from 300 points to now 400 points. That's the score on which they are right now. End of round two, team uh, Vidya Vihar High School with 400 points in the lead over the other three teams, Perpetual Sucker, Shishu Vikas and St. Anne's. We're going into our third round. Before we do that, we have an exciting and amazing look for you. Take a look at the Fit India app. What does the Fit India app do? It allows you to lead a healthier and better and fitter life. How does it do that? We will show you a little video and tell you a little bit more about this amazing app that is available for download on the Android Play Store and the Apple Store absolutely free. No demands from your side except that you download the app, follow what it says because it tells you good things about how you can make your lives better, fitter and healthier. Let's take a look at the app. Life mein challenges kabhi bhi aur kahi bhi aa sakte hain aur hum inka achche se tabhi samna kar sakte hain jab hum taiyar hon inko face karne ke liye. हम अगर हेल्दी और फिट हैं, तो हमारी तैयारी और भी बेहतर हो जाती है बस जरूरत है थोड़ी सी मेहनत थोड़े से अनुशासन की प्रेजेंटिंग फिट इंडिया मोबाइल ऐप आपका फिटनेस गाइड और पर्सनल हेल्थ ट्रेनर पहली बार अब भारत का हर एक नागरिक अपना फिटनेस कोर पता करके जान पाएगा कि वो कितना फिट है आप अपनी आयु के अनुसार अपने फिटनेस स्कोर की जांच कर सकते हैं ये सुविधा खास आपके लिए पहली बार शुरू की जा रही है ये ऐप आपके फिटनेस रूटीन को ट्रैक कर सारा डेटा स्टोर करता है ताकि आप अपनी प्रोग्रेस देख सकें और फिट रहने के नए और आसान नुस्खे अपना पाएं। इस ऐप के साथ आप बन सकते हैं खुद के फिटनेस मास्टर उसके बाद हम आपके फिटनेस रूटीन को बनाने में आपकी मदद करेंगे फिटनेस की दुनिया में कदम रखें मोटिवेटेड रहें और अपडेटेड रहें और सबसे अच्छी बात है कि इन सारी सुविधाओं का लाभ आप पा सकते हैं एकदम फ्री बस अपने एंड्रॉइड और एप्पल डिवाइस पर हमारे ऐप का हिंदी और इंग्लिश वर्जन डाउनलोड करें और शुरू हो जाइए आपका फिट रहने का सपना अब है एक क्लिक दूर फिटनेस की डोज आधा घंटा रोज वेलकम बैक we are into our third and final round here today it looks like a one horse race but you're never sure of where it's going to end until the final whistle blows that's how it is in a football match that's how it is in a hockey match till the winner rests the tape you don't know who's won the race so let's go into our third and final round which we call go In round three, we will be asking a total of six questions of our four teams. One by one, the questions will appear. The teams have to press the buzzer if they want to answer. As soon as you press the buzzer, you have to hold your horses. Don't just blurt out the answers because you might give it away to another team. Wait to be identified as the team that has pressed the buzzer first and then give your answer. If your answer is correct, you get plus 50 points. If your answer is wrong, however, or you don't give an answer, then you lose 50 points. Clear? All the teams? Hey, cheer up. It's not the end of the world. It's a quiz. It's a game. Okay? And you may not win every game that you play. I'm sure you guys have played lots of games and 
you may have not you may have won some and you may not have won the others let's go into our third and final round go question number 1 coming up on everyone's screens For which team in the IPL did the South African player David Miller play in the 2023 season? Your time to buzz starts now. And it is team D Shishu Vikas High School that's hit the buzzer first. Kids unmute and tell us the answer. So it is Gujarat Titans. Gujarat Titans says Swaraj and let's see if he picks up 50 points. is absolutely correct your answer well done 50 points to team d let's go to question number 2 to which country does the famous football player joshua kimich belong the famous football player joshua kimich to which country does he belong which country does he play for your time to buzz starts now None of the teams going for the buzzer this time round the risk of losing points Vidya Vihar High School wants to keep all the points that they've earned with so much hard work they don't want to risk giving it up on a a, a fluke or not okay we'll give you the answer to that Joshua Kimich the correct answer is here Joshua Kimich plays for Germany he's one of the top players for the German national football team That's question number 2 down. We have question number 3 coming up. Which Australian coached Leighton Hewitt during his rise to world number 1 and was also the coach of Andre Agassi at the time when Agassi retired? Which Australian tennis player coached Leighton Hewitt, also an Australian tennis player, during his rise to world number 1? This player was also the coach for Andre Agassi at the time when he retired. Your buzzers go live now. And none of the teams once again pressing that red button in front of them. Fair enough, we will close the question, give you the answer. You learn something new every day and we've learned a lot when we made the questions. The correct answer is Darren Cahill. Darren Cahill of Australia played in the Davis Cup played a lot of international tennis professional tennis for his country and of course in the open uh, tournaments question number 4 coming up on screen with which sport are the terms skusing and slalom associated it's a winter sport With which sport are the terms skusing and slalom associated? Your time to press the buzzer begins now. And this time it's team A St Anne's with the buzzer. What is your answer girls? Skiing. Skiing they say. Quiet. Little doubt there or are you quite confident? the half smile now that confidence with which the answer came is a little edgy but is it misplaced is the confidence good for them do they get 50 points let's check the answer and tell them skiing is absolutely correct well done you picked up 50 points there saint ans and uh, you're on the scoreboard barring a tie for the top 2 places These are the last two questions of our quiz today. Who's going to pick them up? Will we have a tie? We're going to find out at the end of these two questions. Don't go anywhere because we are heading into question number 5. On your screens now. On which sport is the hit film Jerry Maguire based? Oscar winning film Jerry Maguire starring Tom Cruise and Cuba Gooding Jr. On which sport is it based? Your time to buzz starts now. None of the teams going for Jerry Maguire. Let's see what the actual answer is. Question number 5 of the buzzer round. It was American football. American football which is something that most American children grow up with 
and a lot of them do actually play when they are young. We head into the last question of our quiz, barring a tie, as I said, for the first two positions. Here is the sixth question of our third round. In 2000, which golfer became the first female sportsperson to receive the Laureus Award? In 2000, in the year 2000, which golfer became the first woman to receive the Laureus Sports Award? Laureus Award is like the pinnacle of sporting excellence across all sports. It doesn't matter what you play. As long as it's a sport, you can receive this award. Your time to buzz starts now. Okay, none of the teams going for that question either. Let us end the suspense for all of them and reveal the answer, which could have got one of them 50 points. The correct answer is Marion Jones. That brings us to the end of our third round. Let's take a look at the scores at the end of three rounds. Our Lady of Perpetual Sucker Convent High School, not off the mark. St. Anne's Institute and Shishu Vikas High School tied in second place with 50 points each. And winning this quiz and making it through into the state final, Vidya Vihar High School with a total of 400 points. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie. And we're going to resolve that tie with a tie break. It's a sudden death tie break. We will be going question by question, only St. Anne's and Shishu Vikas to take part in this quiz for now. Vidya Vihar, you guys can relax. You've made it through into the finals. The Perpetual Sucker, you can sit back. You're not in the tie break. Two schools will battle it out for that elusive second position. Our first tie break and hopefully the only tie break question coming up on screen for both the teams involved, St. Anne's and Shishu Vikas, get ready with your fingers to press the buzzer if you know the answer. Here's your question. Which Pakistani fast bowler was nicknamed the Gulldozer? Not a bulldozer, but a Gulldozer. Which Pakistani fast bowler was nicknamed the Gulldozer? It is Shishu Vikas High School that has bravely taken the plunge there. Unmute, tell us the answer. Uh, is it Shami Mohammed? Shami Mohammed, uh, Shishu Vikas, Swaraj. Uh, the player that you're referring to is, I think, Mohammed Shami. Mohammed Shami plays very yes, much yes. for India. He is not a Pakistani fast bowler. The correct answer there. On your screens coming up. Uh, can we give Umar Gul? The correct answer is Umar Gul, and because of his name Gul, they added the word dozer and made him into a bulldozer. You know what a bulldozer does? A bulldozer just clears out the earth. So basically, it flattens everything in its path. So that was what they thought Umar Gul did. He was a very, very good fast bowler. So he would keep knocking over the wickets on the other side of the batting team and clear the way for his own team to walk across and take the victory. That's it for the quiz this time round. Let's take a final look at the score sheet just to be sure and confirm what we've known or we've come to know at the end of the tiebreak. In fourth place, uh, Our Lady of Perpetual Sucker Convent High School, they didn't get off the mark today. Never mind, even the great Virat Kohli gets out for a duck on many occasions. In fact, he's gotten out on duck a lot. But uh, that's alright, he's still a great player. In third place, and the score sheet shows zero, but that's only because we have to differentiate that and tell you that they lost the tie break. They were actually on 50 points and they lost out on a tie break question, Shishu Vikas High School. In second place and qualifying for the state final, we have St. Anne's Institute with 50 points. And winning the quiz with a score of 400 points, we have Vidya Vihar High School. This has been a reasonable, 
this has been a relatively one horse race if i can call it that with vidya vihar establishing a dominant lead right up front in round 1 and then coasting through to victory vidya vihar high school goa congratulations tanvesh and alvan you guys have done really well and the second team that makes it through into the goa final is another exponent of the do nothing wait and watch wait it out and things will go right st anne's institute agonda well done girls patience is a virtue and you demonstrated that in the tie break if not throughout the quiz but well done prajita and velia and that was our second semi final for the state of goa i'm off to listen to some goan music and enjoy myself at the end of the day because some of the children have shown amazing abilities here some of the children have shown great aptitude all of us have shown us how we can have a good time but remember that those times can be better if you are more fit so till the next time we meet in another episode of the fit india quiz stay smart stay healthy stay fit india namaskar